I'm back with another video on five things I was influenced to buy. Most of these things I was influenced to purchase by YouTubers. <laughs> like myself, I too like to watch reviews and other YouTubers for ideas and things that I must have in my life. You may also need some of these things in your life, so I will provide links in the description box down below. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sean, Melanoma Mom here. I mainly do sunscreen channels and chat about melanoma skin cancer, and occasionally I like a show and tell session. <laughs> so let's start off with somebody else who also loves to tell stories. Now, I don't watch her as much as I used to. Back when makeup YouTube was the thing to watch, I ran across Teresa is Dead by watching Jen Loves Reviews. <laughs> And the last video I watched when she moved from New York to Florida, she was raving about a nail polish. And yes, I'm wearing it today. I was so excited to pick up more Gucci nail polish. Listen, y'all, Gucci makes the best nail polish. By Gucci of all things. And I thought there is no way that this nail polish is as good as she says it is. She claimed you only had to apply it in one coat and that it didn't chip. Darn it if she wasn't correct. You get a beautiful Gucci box like this. Beautiful. And I now have three. I now have th <laughs> three Gucci, Gucci uh, nail polishes. I don't like getting my nails done. I have a habit of picking nail polish off. I don't pick this off because it doesn't pull up at the corners. I like that it's shiny and not matte. When it wears down, it just wears down at the top of the nail. It doesn't chip off. So I have it in this beautiful fuchsia color. Look at that, that's so pretty. You've seen me wear this. I have it in this Robin's Egg Blue. Beautiful. And then now my newest one is the red. So pretty. So yes, the hype is real. These are $30 a piece. Sephora run sells, pick one up. <laughs> I think one of the main things that's helping my hair look so good is fully switching over to the Orbe Gold Lust Shampoo and Conditioner. I think this time last year, I had just bought the mini set to try it, and I really didn't want to like it because it is so expensive. But I gotta say, best shampoo and conditioner, hands down. So I first bought a sample, the small travel size, to see if I liked these. Last year, the Aura Bay Shampoo. And then I waited for a Sephora sale and I purchased the full size because I loved the little travel sizes. <laughs> it smells as good as they're talking about. Y'all, It there's hair on it because I just pulled it out of my shower. That's gross, Sean. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. The scent mm, is gorgeous. This is the one for beautiful color. So yes, I do get my hair colored. It's moisturizing. It does help with the color. It makes my ends look nice. Will I repurchase a fuller size? I'd like to try a different version next time, but it's expensive. So far, it's lasted me most of the year. <laughs> okay, this is gonna seem silly, but it's fall. This glass pumpkin I was influenced to purchase, but not by a YouTuber, something on TikTok. I saw this multiple times. It kept coming up in my feed at stuff like, um, run now, Target has restocked their glass pumpkins. Run and find yours now. And I remember years ago, people were talking about those Pottery Barn glass pumpkins and they were just too expensive for me. This one's $10. I put Cheez-Its in it. My family wanted me to put candy, candy corn, but I knew they would just snack on it all day. So I put Cheez-Its because it's orange. What other orange snacks would you put in here to leave on your countertop that's semi-healthy and not the worst for you. Let me know down below because I need more ideas. Um, I've thought about goldfish crackers and Cheez-Its and then Hot and Flashy got me with the sun serums. But if you watched my review, I am uh, more than a little disappointed in the undefined r, r sun cream tinted. I got the tinted and the uh, all skin types chemical. This one is physical. 12% zinc oxide. I'm gonna link that review somewhere over here. Go watch this, why this just did not work out for me, but I was influenced. And um, first time ever I've been let down by a review from Angie, so not Angie 
nobody's fault. We just all have different skin skin types. I was influenced by Glitter and Lasers. Is that her name now or does she go by a different name? I love her personality. She's so bubbly and fun. I like watching her clothing reviews and her travel stuff. And she went to Austin, Texas in one of her recent vlogs and she walked into a store. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I have family in Austin, Texas. I used to go there when I was a kid a lot. I love Austin. And she went into a store that they made their own jewelry. <laughs> yeah. And I have always wanted something that represents my skin cancer, my melanoma, something that could give me a positive, I don't know, memory of the strength and courage that I've been through and my relationship with the sun, how it used to be and how it is now. A lot of people get tattoos. I'm just not a tattoo person. So I found this ring. <laughs> I will link the jewelry brand down below. I ordered it online. And you can see it looks like a sun. They are all handmade. They are dipped in 14 karat gold, I do believe, or 10. And it's just a delicate little, it's just so pretty. And I wear it on my pinky. <laughs> and it just reminds me of my relationship with the sun and how it's changed since I had skin cancer. And then I realized that this one, you have to put it on after you put your clothes on because it will catch in your sweaters, especially. So that's a little bit annoying because it's spiky. The rays of the sun are spiky. So I wanted another ring to kind of express this other thing, this difficult thing that is currently going on in my life and the life of my family. This ring spoke to me right here. It is flat, so I'm not gonna have, it doesn't catch on any of my sleeves and it's gold except right here it has silver and it is like a geometric shape. Let's see if I can get the angle quite right. It's hammered, it's thicker band than I've, I've never had a ring that was this thick of a band. It's very comfortable to wear. And it talked about knowing and recognizing the power and strength within yourself. And that spoke to me. Because we're, I'm going through something difficult right now, I can look down at this and I can fidget with it. And when I'm talking to or being around people that bring up anxiety for me, I can remember that I'm stronger and courageous and I have a power within myself. Anybody else buy, buy jewelry and things to remind you to change your thought? your thought patterns or as a milestone of something that has happened in your life? Let me know down below. These rings are by Nina Baranato. She um, and her team hand make these and they can make them according to whatever size you want. And they just have a lot of very unique and different designs of jewelry on their website. I will link it down below. Today's a great day to wear sunscreen. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.